Uh, this is called self mapping, and it doesn't actually require chat GPT. Mm -hmm. It cannot happen with chat GPT. Yeah. Uh, well, how I started? I started my entrepreneurial life uh, at the age of 17. So I started India as one of the first game development company, a proper game studio with uh, a dream, dream to connect art and logic together. So what I was doing in my school days, probably uh, not in engineering college, but when I was in school, I used to write and draw comics, and I used to do coding. In my time, that coding segment was basic, forget about uh, visual basic. It was GW basic, right? Uh, and uh, I was fascinated about all those black and white screen, why we can't have colors in coding. And when I was making comics, creating superheroes, drawing it on a piece of paper, and in my diary, why can't we have some kind of system wherein we can make them alive and people can probably interact with them. That dream shaped virtually to come. When I was in class 12th standard, I felt that I should start my own company rather than working for others. Have you ever realized that you installed Alexa in your room and you are connecting your all the electrical devices and you can talk to those devices very, very easy. It is becoming day in day out intelligent. So what kind of developers are needed? You need machine learning professionals who can understand that algorithm. So what is going to happen in here? Believe me or not, none of the developers are going to lose the job who understand the algorithm very, very well. How to create an algorithm, algorithmic solution. So there are two different aspects of it. A, you understand algorithm. That's not AI. Okay? That's algorithm, pure algorithm. Okay? Second, you understand AI as AI. Now, what do I mean by algorithm and AI? What is the very basic difference between an algo and AI? Yeah? And they felt that they should create a solution which is going to give solution for the sports people who are playing soccer ball, utilizing artificial intelligence. And it should act as a coach. Am I making sense? Now that coach is not a chatbot. That coach is an augmented reality, real life person whose entire inputs, including a couple of other coaches' inputs, are basically recorded placed in a particular level of security and when you are looking for any kind of solution like for an example you are looking for probably how to hit the ball properly or how to save the goal properly it will teach you in multiple different ways now let's visualize ourselves you are in a, in a room and you want to play now this AR based solution powered by AI did I define it? Uh, well, it's an augmented reality solution, but in the back end, it has got property. It is going to teach you how to play football. Now, will you say that the coach will actually lose the job? Probably no. It is basically the fine tuning method. So, in a way, as a player, when you are using this, you are fine tuning yourself, you are upgrading yourself. But what happened? Eventually, we created a lot of jobs in the market. Yeah? My dear students, you need to understand. Technology is not at all built for killing the jobs. Technology always built for creating more opportunity in the market. Unfortunately, people who don't adopt new technology, they have to die. I mean, we don't have any other option, man. Right? You join late. Oh, maybe this question might be better. Yeah, like I, I actually already covered that initially. It is not going to kill any kind of job which is basically upper level job or creative work. It is going to kill the jobs of normal people, like usual kind of stuff. A common content writer 
who used to write content very commonly, it is going to kill their job, of course. But if I'm writing from emotions, if I'm writing probably as a creative writer, you write and say, it cannot kill that job. Or rather, it is not meant to kill that job. But it is meant because there are a lot of agencies who face a big challenge. I tell you the big challenge. They are writers sometimes, they, they copy. And they have to put one person to check those plugins. So eventually, plugins will check again. But these writers are smart enough. They understood that how to bypass that plugins website. There is algo going on in the background, right? It's very easy to skip that and bypass that. People start doing that. So eventually, from technology part, they have to come up with a solution so that these things shouldn't happen. So who is killing our job? Is it AI? No, I guess we are killing our job. Awesome. Right? Yes? No? Yeah? Okay. What next is going to come? Let me be very brief and open the floor with interaction. Um, they say that I'm going to give you a small tree. When you buy my coin, the value of the coin is dependent on that tree. As much as you grow the tree and it is healthy and you have fruits, your valuation goes up. Am I making sense? Yes. How do you predict that? Do you take a picture and then send it to the main database? No. Here comes the technological part. It is detected utilizing the machine learning with the help of augmented reality. You can see the tree is growing. So the company can see the tree is growing as it is in real life. Right? When the point of the camera, the smartphone camera, it can understand the health of the tree as well. So what we have covered up? We covered up a little bit about a grid tech, right? It is understanding the health of the plant. A little bit, not fully. Right? It is connecting the augmented reality, it is connecting the machine learning thoughts, it's connecting the blockchain technology, and then eventually it is connecting the grid tech one. Why? When you are growing it, Definitely, you are working on carbon impact. Have you ever heard about that? Yeah? You all are talking about this? See, one single project, nothing, this is simple. They are giving you a plan, asking you to you know, grow it. If it dies, you lose money. If it is growing, wow, your valuation goes up. And when you have fruits, you can probably give this tree or sell this tree to somebody else. Let me be a little bit of, you know, uh, uh, optimistic in spiritual way. I was watching the growth of Kanpur when I was traveling from Lucknow to Kanpur and I saw that a lot of trees which is 100 years old are being chopped. Yeah, why you are killing those trees? There is a method specifically where you can shift those trees even though that's a 100 year old tree. There are scientists who have that kind of method. Why we are not utilizing that? And then we are shouting that we are creating a smart city. And then we will see that, okay, fine, uh, if we have chopped off probably thousands of trees, we will be planting 10,000 of the trees. But it will take a lot of time, huh? Yeah? In between that time, we are killing ourselves. So who is killing uh, Mother Nature? Us. Yeah? So instead of that, if we have a solution, there is a company based out of Israel who does that. They can uplift a tree as it is and plant it somewhere else so that it doesn't die. And what did they They did. Smart move. They connected that with the fintech one. They created a card and as many as jungle that you create like this, you know, for the growth of humanity, blah, 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 whatever you're talking about, the card value increases. And the people who really want to do charity, they are giving money to these guys because they are doing a good work for the planet Earth. Use technology, implemented that, created job, yeah, new technological vertical is there. Now here comes the best part of it. When they are shifting, now they are calculating that if we can convert an island to sustain as it is. How they are doing it? They are using drones to take all the mapping, the geo mapping. Yeah? Now you may say, sir, 
there will be a lot of people who will be jobless because uh, drones are being used. Yeah, there is a drone chala hai na. Yeah, there are certain amount of scientists who are data scientists who is actually doing all those kind of calculations. The job market is being created. Again, moral of the story with this gentleman who was actually trying to say that, sir, I think that uh, the people who are doing common job, their job will be uh, gone. Yes, I agree. Next level of job in one liner answer, if you really want to hear about this, is the skill set. It's not about your certification. If you're studying engineering, I'm sure that in first year, second year, third year, fourth year, you are doing massive work. And I know that. I have been to multiple number of IIT campus. I, I love spending time with the students in their hostels rather than in a podium like this. So I spend nights with them. I understand. I cherish moments with them. I understood that what kind of creation that they have created. You know where is the gap? May I be really honest? Can I? Yes. The main gap is not your creativity. The main gap is sometimes you miss the buzz where there is a gap in the industry, which part of the world. Believe me or not, every product has its own market. If you have a 300 rupees belt, that pure leather belt has got its market. And if you have a pure leather with a thousand dollar, that has got another market. So what you are creating from your technological mind, you need to understand the end price of your product. If you can understand that, every product has its own market. Okay. I give five layers of example in front of you. Works? Yeah. The next vertical which is going to rock the world is emotion. So when you are in fear and feel that probably AI is going to take your work, no. If you really look at the market, we Indians are going to probably take all the jobs in the entire world. 